Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back on my YouTube channel. This is Gwenae and in today's video we're back in the vintage journey. So if you guys don't know what my vintage journey is, what I call my vintage journey, it's basically very simple. It's me trying some old stuff that I have in my dressing and trying to figure out what I keep and what by sell on my vintage that you can find in the description if you guys are interested i don't have much more to say so no more waiting let's go first item is this um, jacket i don't know how to call this by the way today's video is gonna be focused on this part here uh, so it's basically gonna be tops and all that kind of stuff because I was feeling lazy and I didn't want to change everything yeah laziness hello <laughs> hey sometimes we can I'm still working I'm still doing stuff so that's great okay so we've got this here with pads or something like that in the shoulders I'm going to show you the details after so maybe you can see a little bit better on the back it's like this you have a collar like this and it's a very simple zip so here it is I'm not going to keep this one because I 100% know deep inside that I'm never going to wear this this is not something I so much into. Even before I didn't wear it very often, so I feel like it's not gonna change. This is for sure. Like, no doubt, I'm not going to wear this. So I think it's gonna be better for me to sell it on my Vinted. So this is a 38, which is medium size. It's from the brand Pinky. I don't know if you guys know about that, but it's a pretty well-known brand so i don't know if it's somewhere else in the world or if it's just here in france but yeah here is a jacket time for the details sometimes but not very often so this is from the brand trouble scheme never heard of this before it seems that it's a brand from the shop Gemo. I don't know if you've heard of that before but here are the informations Gemo is a well-known shop here in France I don't know how it is anywhere else so you have those fluffy, how would you call that? Fluffy details? Yes, <laughs> I took the easy way, but as long as you can 
see what I'm talking about, I guess we're good. So you have long sleeves that goes up. I don't know if it's just me who uh, has short arms, but for me, it's, it goes on my hands. I like that, but maybe you don't. So you can lace it here as I did. Hello. And on the back, it's like this. I'm going to show you the details right now. So I'm not going to keep this one because I'm not going to wear this. You know, sometimes you used to like something and I was not super in love with that. It was not something I was obsessed with before. And right now I don't see myself wearing this. This is gonna join my winter team. Okay, this is some kind of serious business here. This is from the brand Camayeu. This is a 38 in French, which is a medium size. For now, I just don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Keeping it, selling it, I don't know. It definitely needs to be steamed, but eh, not that bad. I kept my top under. I don't know why, for some reason, I thought it would be hidden, but it is not. Yeah, it's not that bad, I guess. This one is pretty original, yet professional looking, if you want my honest opinion. I kind of feel like, you know, when I'm wearing this, I look like a businesswoman. I still need to think about what I'm gonna do with this, so I'm going to show you the details because this is basically the top, the most detailed top, I think, that I have in stock. It has so much details on it, which makes this so special, so original, which makes me hesitate a lot. Ah, I'm confused, guys. Details. So yeah, you may have noticed that this, I'm going to show you, this goes all around the waist like this. I think that I'm right when I'm doing this like this. And you lace it in front, ta-da, you can do differently, but you got the idea. So for this one, uh, I think you have to stay tuned on my vintage uh, to figure out if I'm going to sell this or not because when I'm recording this, I have no clue. I just don't know. So, surprise! Doo -doo, next one. <laughs> it's a large uh, by Inextenso. It has that kind of sleeves that are super large here and Let's be honest, it makes it very comfortable to wear. And after, at the end of the sleeves, it fits like perfectly. And I think it can be nice if it's like some kind of cold weather to have that kind of, you know, fitting sleeves that allows the cold not to enter so easily. Those kind of details aside, it's pretty basic. As I said, it's really comfy, but I don't remember wearing this a ton. I'm going to show you this top a little bit closer. I 
I hardly picture myself wearing this. So I think I'm going to put this one on my vintage too. <laughs> so next one, <laughs> believe it or not, but it's tagged as a one size fits all. Is this a joke? A one size fits all. I never really understood this concept of one size fits all, but when I'm seeing this, I'm like, one size fits all? Mm -mm. I'm not buying it. Anyway, I, I kind of feel like I'm not going to keep this. I don't know, I like the originality in it, but am I going to wear this? I'm going to show you the details. So I'm not 100% sure right now, but I kind of feel like I'm going to sell this on my Vinted. So stay tuned, but chances are it will be on it. <laughs> my hair is not long enough to hide. But yes, this is obviously see-through. This is handmade, not by me. I used to wear this a lot with a short sleeved top on that and uh, even if I don't want to wear this with the same top I used to wear this with oh my gosh this sentence is so like confusing I kind of want to wear this but with a top under it I think it could be cute I'm going to see if I'm wearing this or not and I'm going to keep this but now I'm gonna change because you can see through it <laughs> Whew, my hair doesn't really appreciate the fact that I'm trying only tops <laughs> but yeah next item is this it's from the brand 1, 2, 3 <laughs> which is obviously a French brand and it's a 38 slash 40, which is a medium size. I'm going to show you the details because it's all in this area and that's basically everything. It's pretty simple. I kind of feel like it's not that see-through. I'm going to show you the details. You've probably seen the ruffles here, the lace. I think it's cute, but I'm not going to keep that anyway. This cutie is joining my vintage with the other items. Guys, I'm very sorry. I just noticed my focus wasn't right. <laughs> but here we are with a correct focus. So don't worry, I'll show you everything again. <sighs> so sorry, I forgot to check. But here is the next one. There is like no time in it. I think it's handmade because there is no tag on it and I genuinely don't remember this like at all so I think it's someone who gave me this when I was not here anymore I'm assuming it's a 38 so it's pretty basic yet cute I'm going to show you a little bit closer Except if I change my mind, I'm not going to keep that. Another one size fits all, one size fits all, by TS. 
I kind of like this. I don't know if I'm going to wear this a ton, but I think I'm going to keep this for now. So you have those fake buttons here, this here. I love the designs on it. For now, I'm going to keep this. So this is the last one. Uh, I kind of like it. I like it. Not kind of. I like it. So I'm going to keep this. This is a size 2 in French from brand because it seems like the tag has been torn. Yes, you have still the tag here but not the one on the back with the brand so I'm keeping this one and it was the last one for today Whew, that was a whole kind of sport so I hope you guys enjoyed the little montage I realized as an apology for the bad quality of the beginning of the video, I'm very sorry. I totally forgot to check uh, my focus <laughs> and so this happened. And as always, thank you guys so so much for watching, commenting, liking, sharing, everything. Mwah! Thank you so so much for your support, it means the world to me and um, I shall see you guys in the next one. Bye!